Hi everyone, welcome to today's daily devotion. So I'm going to start in 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 18. Give thanks in all circumstance, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. You know, 2008 was the start of a new journey for Mo and myself. There were many factors that came into play for when we lost our house, our workshop, our storage units. We were left with a van and a cargo trailer. We took what we could and everything else we lost. We lived in our van for about eight to nine months, every day just trying to survive. I remember Mo asking me to go live with my mom and I told him no. He wanted me to go live with my mom while he tried to figure things out for us. But I told him, we're in this together and we'll get through this together, babe. You know, at that time, I didn't realize it, but God was already working in our lives. All I knew was that Mo and I, we just had to stick together. But God, of course, knows what we need. He knows what's best for us, even if we don't. Anyways, that's kind of making a long story short, but at the end of it, or maybe I should say really at the beginning of our journey, we ended up in Wilseyville. God took us. He took Mo and he took myself. Here we are, two seeds, and he planted us in Wilseyville. And you have all watered us, and God has helped us to grow. So thank you. You know, it may seem strange, but there were times when Mo and I would say that we were so thankful that actually losing everything, that that happened to us and not some of the friends that we had back then. Because now we knew we would be okay because God was working in our lives and he continues to do so. Thank you, Jesus. Colossians 3.15 says, Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts since as members of one body, you were called to peace and be thankful. Thank God for the material blessings that he gives you. Thank God for the people in your life and thank the people that are in your life. Thank God in the midst of trials for the strength he gives to endure the hard times. Thank God for your salvation Thank God for his continued presence and power in your life. You know, the verse I read, 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 18, says to give thanks in all circumstances. So you know what that means? It means not just the ones that are easy, not just the ones that are pleasant, but all, all situations, all circumstances. God asks us to trust his ways even when we don't understand. God's word doesn't change to fit our circumstance. His truth rises above our circumstance so that we can too. He's building more deeply into our lives and character than he could ever build without the hard times. Being thankful in the hard times is gaining strength. It's gaining perseverance. Life is not always easy but we can always have a heart full of thankfulness. Even in times of trouble, God cares and wants to carry our burdens. That gives us reason to give thanks. No matter what, you woke up today. God has given us today. Thank you, Jesus. May our every breath bring honor to him. So stay strong, choose joy, choose to be thankful in it all. We've all had some really dark times, but thank you, Jesus, for stepping into the darkness. Light of the world, you step down into darkness. Open my eyes, let me see. Bow down here.
together, lovely, all together, worthy, all together, wonderful to me. So here I am to worship. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, we just thank you for this day, and we thank you for all that you have done for us. Lord, I pray that you help us to live lives of thankfulness and lives with joy. Thank you for the gift of faith, and thank you, Jesus, for understanding our weaknesses and still loving us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you.